Hi there, in the previous lecture, we learned about Universal Windows Platform along with that uh, Winget command line, uh, which is nothing but the Windows Package Manager uh, utility or WPM utility. Now, in this uh, short lecture, we will learn how to deploy the application. So, if you want to deploy the latest Microsoft store based applications, you have to navigate to Applications and Windows and navigate here plus add button so this is where you're adding a new application click on this oh so this is the new application method or new store experience this is going to be retired soon legacy one so click on a new and select here whatever you're going to search it it actually uh, going back to the winget command line and it will search so if you see here in the back end what would happen is if I say I want to search for a slack application simply here in the search so what is happening is in the back end it actually running this specific command called winget search slack okay and if I select this package example uh, next it actually gonna uh, selecting that package for the installation command line so that kind of you know, integration it has done in the month of close to November uh, they have officially released uh, November 2022 and now we are on a 2023 uh, February when we are actually recording this video because it is generally available now uh, for everybody so on every tenant in fact so now you can actually search here so when you search it you can you know get the application whether it is a universal Windows platform or maybe for example if I search for uh, WinZip in this case it might be a Win32 application so it actually differentiates what is that package so if it is a uh, Win32 it could be a community application not by the same company or by the WinZip or maybe someone so you could actually get more information when when you actually select it you get who's actually publishing this uh, what is that company name all of that stuff you can you know find out let's say if I want you know find some other application I can simply search here like maybe in this case example zoom and I can see here zoom specific and you see here in matrix is a different a person it could be a different company or a person who might be you know published as a win32 and it was accepted by Microsoft and it is available to use it whoever the publisher so if you trust that you should be able to use it but I would recommend if it is actually by the principal publisher for example in this case zoom was published by zoom company uh, zoom, zoom video communication INC or zoom apps then it's fine you should be able to you know, use it but not the uh, third party but of course once you test it if you feel that everything is good you should be able to use it in fact in the back end Microsoft also scan for any kind of you know vulnerability all of that then only they would be you know allowing you to uh, use that so that's what uh, it, it does actually so once you select the application you can click on next or you can you know add your notes let's say this is my change number okay maybe whatever the change number and the approved by okay and the owner who's the owner of your application owner in this case maybe Chris example and the developer is WinZip in this case so simply enter the company URL all of that fulfill including the image then click on next of course I would be in a choosing here it would be my productivity specific and I wanted the installation should happen on a system context click on next and I should be add here the group for example in my case I have a test group called power management okay and uh, simply uh, I should be able to use this application click on create so this is going to install the application on that specified target group this way it's actually a new experience you know need a package you could you know simply search it if the application is available readily you can push for your com the company devices or users so it makes easy for us I hope the short lecture is useful for you but make sure if you are still not getting it you have to you know, revisit the previous lecture that makes more in-depth uh, talk how this is happening as a magic in the back end.